Palmer leads him back to the strike. 86 of Palmer, always strong in the warm ups and trouble. Down the bottom of turn one and two. Ready not given up. Gets around a double lap machine. There's only one lap machine between the top two drivers as the interval about the same as they work turn number three and four and lap number 19 about to go on the board. Clear the track of a moment as Kennewell can see Schatzer. He's got three lap cars to deal with and can Schatzer and loses it in turn number two. And possibly getting into lap traffic. He indeed will find at least one back marker in the field. That being the 47. Uh, Miklos. Schatzer will work to his high side. He's got nobody behind him. And the Hagerstown product. Schatzer. Bill Schatzer coming away with a checkered flag in tonight's IMCA Race Saver Sprint Car feature. Right off at of turn number two, clear sailing. Nobody to worry about in front and a good lead behind him. Yonker, Reed, and Fogel nose to tail pretty much down the back straightaway for the final time. And our latest Pure Stock feature event winner coming off turn number four. Randy Lindenberg in the 17L collecting the victory. Nathaniel Yonker, Keith Reed, Nick Fogel, a trio of winners behind him with the other bit more but he's got a substantial lead in that late model sportsman category palmer still constantly in second spot it's going to be uh pal lee bone break and coons easily in that top five warren Feltz in the number six spot trouble for anderson he's showing signs of smoke up the groove he goes in turn number three and four and Braden Anderson, a lot of smoke from that 25 as he comes to a stop off at of turn number four. Palmer, home break, top three. And late in the race, it's going to be Keith Coons of the OA trying to hold on to that fourth position as Austin Warrenfeltz begins to close that gap. And all the while off turn number four, second win of the season in late model sportsman competition for Clear Spring, Maryland's Levi Clow as he takes the three tonight, grabbing the early lead. Neff and Giesemann side by side for third for the moment. Stoner and Nichols back behind in trouble for one driver, gonna be Neff spinning it. And how most of the field did not make contact. Very, very good piece of driving for many drivers in the field. As 03 and Neff loops it around for fourth, but Stoner chipping away little by little. Deal got a little high, opens the door. He still has the high side momentum. But they're close to the gap, and Block with the double zero. Spins it off turn four. To the bottom side. Three wide for the lead. Turn number four. Three wide. Dig it out. the battle as they come back to the strike. Turn three and four. And Deal wins it. It's going to be Gaseman for the moment. Second, and caution back out for Brian Kearns here on the front straightaway in the 83 machine. Deal working down into turn three and four. Deal going way wide up in the high groove. It's going to be Stoner throwing the block on him, coming off a turn number four. No, he can't even deal it. Five. Just when it looked like it was over for him, Greg Deal just says he will not quit and takes the lead once again. Here comes Gibson to the inside. Once again, down the back straightaway. Gibson down bottom. Stoner in the middle. Deal up high. Stoner still trying to win that battle and Deal still fighting on the outside. Four laps to go here in tonight's feature event and Greg Deal trying to keep it wound up on the outside. Gieseman and Stoner, they've got about a battle again down the back straightaway. And Greg Deal, he just stays up in that high groove, but this time Stoner's got him and... Final lap for Jason Stoner, the five-time winner so far this year in semi-late action and second in points to Jason Giesemann and Stoner looking to check in for victory number six on the season. Coming back with a semi-late win tonight. Giesemann comes home in second.